Hey everybody, we're going to learn how to harvest worm castings today. We're going to try out a new product. And we're going to try to harvest a worm bin in 15 minutes or less. Stick around, it's going to be fun. Hi, I'm Rick with Iowa Worm Composting. We're a small worm farming operation, supplier of compost worms and other related essentials. We've been at this for quite a few years and while we probably haven't seen it all, we've seen most of it. We've made our mistakes and we've learned from them. If you'd like to learn from our mistakes and travel a road a little bit less bumpy on your way to worm composting, you're in the right spot. Now, if you're looking for a fancy video production with big special effects, you're probably going to be disappointed. But if you just want some good information on worm composting that's going to make your life easier, and better yet, make you more successful, you're in the right place. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up down below. If you'd like to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. If you've got a question or something to say, drop it in the comments below. We respond to all comments. With that, let's get started. Okay, I've repositioned the camera here and, and let me kind of set this up for you. Right here we have a w typical worm bin. It's 14 by 18 by six inches deep and it has about three to four inches of, of worm castings and bedding and, and I'd say it's probably a pretty typical home sized worm bin. Right here, I just have an empty tray and and I have a white sandbag in the bottom of it just so you can uh, see what's going on. And then I also have another identical tray next to it right here. We're going to be using our worm casting screen harvester and this is actually our product and um, there's kind of a story behind it how this came about. Um, we raise most of our worms outside, but we ship a lot of worms from our online website. So we have trays indoors and we harvest worms outside. Occasionally we bring them in and we put them in trays indoors. And several, several times a year we have, you know, like, like one or two trays to harvest indoors and, and we don't want to get the big shaker screener out and it takes longer to clean it up than it does to harvest one one or two trays of worm castings. So we, we needed something that was quick and easy and we kind of came up with this product and we've been using it for a few years and we're really happy with it and I thought well let, let's share it with everybody. So here it is and this is the way it comes. It comes in a poly bag, comes with instructions. You can see the instructions are pretty short because well it's pretty darn easy. So we're going to take the lid off of here. And one thing I'd like to say is that anytime you're screening castings, whether it be with a commercial trommel or a big commercial shaker screener, you have to get your castings fairly dry. You, you don't want them wet and muddy and, and, and clumpy. So you just, you want them pretty loose and friable without a lot of clumps. Uh, a lot of times when I know that uh, we're going to have to harvest a tray of worm castings, I won't feed or put any water on, on the castings for a couple of weeks and, and that usually works pretty good for uh, our operation. Of course, if your castings are a little wetter, it might take a little bit longer. If they're a little drier, it might take a little shorter time. But okay, the way this, before we started, I said we were going to do this in 15 minutes or less. And honestly, I've never timed this. I uh, have done this for quite a while and, and that seems like a nice round number, but I've got, a, I've got a timer preset right here with 15 minutes and we're going to set it right here in the bin. I'm going to start it and we're going to get going. Okay, we're just going to take a handful of worm castings. Shake it in the tray right here. And what we have left in this tray is unprocessed material worms and cocoons and we're going to add them to our third tray over here. And we just repeat the process. Now you don't want to put a lot in here. Just, you know, a good handful is about right. Actually, if you put too much in, it almost slows you down. 
There we go. Worm castings are out. I'm not going to bore you as we go along here and make you watch 15 minutes of me harvesting worm castings, but but with the magic of video, we'll, we'll speed this up, but I'm going to show you the whole process with, with the timer in view and just kind of speed the process up so you, you don't have to watch me for 15 minutes. Okay, we're getting to the end right here, and I've got maybe one more tray load here. As you can see, we've got a pretty nice pile of castings. And this is it. The tray is harvested. I'm going to stop my timer. Let's see what we got here. We got seven, I set it at 15 minutes. And there's seven minutes and 59 seconds left, so it took about seven minutes to harvest that tray. That's uh, pretty quick. The thing I like about this is there was a lot of thought went into the screen size. Uh, we used an eighth inch diamond mesh. We tried three millimeter and um, it didn't harvest as well. The castings didn't want to go through and it was a little bit slower. Uh, by going with the eighth inch and the diamond, it catches about 100% of the European nightcrawler cocoons and catches a, a, a bigger percentage of the red worm cocoons. You'll still have a few of the red worm cocoons go through because some of the worms are smaller and the cocoons are smaller. But it gets about 80% of them. And if you're really concerned, you can hand pick them from your castings. As you can see, the castings right here, there are uh, no cocoons in them. And, and they're pretty solid castings. And let me move stuff around here in the camera frame so you can kind of see what's going on. This is the tray of castings we just harvested. And this tray right here, this is all worms, unprocessed bedding, bedding and cocoons. And now the normal operation here would be, I would just divide this pile in half like this. I would ha add half the worm bedding and, and the unprocessed material and cocoons and stuff back to the tray I just harvested. I just take, I would just take this half out and, and put, put back in, in the tray I just harvested. And, and add more bedding to it till I had about three inches of bedding in that tray and, and it'll start all over again. And then with, with this other half, I just add more bedding to this tray and the, we'll, have, we'll have two trays and we'll have our worm split and, and everything will go fine. Hi everybody. So what did we accomplish? We did harvest a, a worm bin of castings and I said we could do it in 15 minutes or less. It turned out to be about seven minutes. And uh, that's probably pretty typical for the, for the typical home worm bin. Now, to be uh, up front, the, the bin that I harvested was about a one and three quarter square foot bin. And these big trays, which is what I normally grow worms in, are about three square feet. But to extrapolate the time difference of having three or four inches of bedding in here, you're probably looking at 10 or 11 minutes to harvest the big tray. We really like this new shaker screen. It solved the problem for us when we only had to harvest a tray or two. And that's a category that, that most hobbyist worm farmers fall into. And we think it'd be a great addition to, to your worm farming efforts. 
Uh, if you're interested in purchasing this product, the, the, I'll put the link in the description down below. And also, we just made a new PDF guide on the six things you should do before ordering worms. It's a 12 page PDF guide and, and it's chock full of information. And we'll, we'll drop the link to that below. If you uh, go, go to that link, you can leave an email address and we'll get that emailed right out to you. So if you like this content, and want to see more of it go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you like this video give us a thumbs up if you've got a question or something to say drop it in the comments and we'll be sure to respond to it and i promised that this wasn't going to be a big fancy video production and i didn't lie okay see you next time bye